welcome back to the void full of terror. It's still currently October month, although it's almost over. Uh, the uploads have begun, so um, <laughs> from this point onwards, uh, the, the, the series, the streams, are being uploaded to the YouTube archive for future consumption of those interested. <clears throat> I'm uploading like two, two or so of them at a time each day, so it'll get caught up fairly quick. I think at this point we're probably, uh, this is probably going to be like part 11 of the streams. Uh, so yeah, I got a little ways to go, but um, the archive will be caught up eventually. They'll probably see this one uh, well into November. <clears throat> Maybe. It depends how quick I, I get them going. Alright, so my morning is starting off pretty okay. I've, I've discovered the cause of my problems. It's the, those cats again, the, the allergies. But, uh, I'm, I'm feeling alright today. It's, it's an okay day. It's, uh, it's a very foggy day outside, though. Uh, there, there is a thick, there is a very thick fog rolling in outside. Uh, no, no crab mutants just yet, though. Uh, no, 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 uh, uh, no siren call to go out into the mist, but, um, <laughs> you know, we'll, we'll see what the weather forecast says. <laughs> so, okay, let's load on up. Uh, we, we kind of got, oh yeah, we had a little bit of a, you know, a, a, we had a spontaneous exit last time. We were mid-battle. Now, here's the thing, this game doesn't really like saving mid-battle, um, it can cause issues. Let's see, right? I, I haven't, I actually have not really been save scumming. I think I might have like save scum once because uh, of a cheap death that I didn't, just didn't understand, right? But um, I, I don't think I've ever saved to the battlescape and then ended the game and then come back to it later. So let's, let's see if it breaks everything. <laughs> let's, let's see if the game is broken. Uh, if it is, it's fine. We can go back to the Geoscape, but uh, we'd started the mission, so let's continue it. Wait, what's this? If you have a mutation lab, captured Pandorans will generate mutagens every hour. Each mutagen lab can generate up to 50 mutagens per day. Is that new? I, I, don't, I don't remember that. I remember uh, mutagen, which we, uh, we we can't actually do anything with mutagen yet. But I remember that being kind of a, a difficult resource to get. Uh, I don't remember there being any sort of like way to generate mutagen. <clears throat> Though also, I don't really remember capturing Pandorans very much. I, I I'm sure that's I'm sure that's a thing that's been in the game since the beginning, but. Uh, I, I don't really remember making use of capturing very often. <clears throat> like I don't, I don't, I, I don't really recall ever going for the capture on too many of them. But uh, maybe that was just me being dumb. <clears throat> it did take me a little bit to understand how, like, how paralysis works, even. <laughs> Oh man, this is a long load. <clears throat> I had time to sip my water and everything. It's like I said, I haven't um I haven't done a uh, a load to the battlescape from the main menu. I have not done that before. Uh I've always like I've always been in battle and then oh, uh I didn't understand why that happened. Let's reload. Uh I've never, yeah, I've never just gone in raw to the battlescape, though. So, I hope the game is going to load. I'm not going to blame, so let me say this, right? I'm not going to blame the game if it doesn't. If, uh, if, if the game is broken right now and it's just waiting to either crash or... Um, you know, or this is just an infinite load screen. I'm not going to blame the game because the game told me 
that uh, saving and loading in battle, the game is not, it's, it, it is not made for that. But it seems like it's going now. But if something's borked, uh, the game warned me, okay? I was warned, and I, I clicked the button to say, no, I want to do it anyway. <clears throat> so it, it seems like we've loaded in correctly. But if we haven't, again, I was warned. I was warned, and I ignored the warning. <laughs> okay, so we need to obtain the Firebird Initiative files. I, I think... I'm trying to remember who this mission is for exactly. <laughs> I, I think this is a Sinedrian mission, but <clears throat> I'm, I'm not really sure. I can't, I can't quite remember who this mission is for. Uh, but the files are over here, and uh, I, right, I remember last time we kind of uh, we had a guy jet jump straight into the to the thick of it, and that was a horrible mistake. You should, oh God, you really shouldn't have done that. So uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna just. Uh, I'm not gonna jet jump straight into the middle of uh, of a hornet's nest. I'm gonna Fast. gonna at least get some kind of proper cover this time around. <clears throat> I'm prepared. I'm still gonna send my guys out like pretty far ahead. I'm still gonna do that. Target located. Oh, we got a target. Any chance we can nade that guy? Nope. And I do have, I have grenade scatter on. I have grenade scatter on, but, uh... I, I'm still not really too sure how I, how I feel about grenade scatter. Gotta be honest. Uh, grenade scatter is kind of, it's one of those blessings and curses. It, uh, it, it can make it so that the enemy, you know, when, when the enemy uses a grenade, oh, they might be less accurate and they might miss, right? Like, oh, there's a good chance the enemy will miss. That would be great. Yes. But there's a good chance you'll miss. So, yeah. <laughs> That's not so great. Hmm. Okay, I don't want to use too much willpower. So, we'll just kind of... Kind of uh, carefully advance... Carefully in quotes. <laughs> Most of the enemies are over there, though. What's our plan? Hmm. <clears throat> Ready? Okay, Ready? and we got our nice sniper here. And uh, I, I kind of, I, I am making it a little bit of a priority that I want to, I, I want to try and capture at least one Pandoran every mission. It doesn't have to be a new Pandoran, but there are reasons to, to, ca uh, to capture them. So, yeah, I want to, I want to try and make a habit of, of capturing a Pandoran every single mission. Uh, so we always have a fresh supply of mutagen and or food once we have that research done. I, I still love that the first thing that we think of is, is eating Pandorans rather than just farming. Hmm. Oh, it's coming right up on us. Hmm. Uh-oh. Okay, didn't do anything. Ooh, he's got viral weapons! Okay, viral weapons directly affect will points. Uh, makes it easier to panic or be mind-controlled. Viral damage persists, but reduces each turn. Okay. Lots of Pandoran activity, too. Hmm. So I guess watch out for that one over there. It's got, you know, it's got viral, uh, viral bullets. Ah. Oh. Okay, good thing is Chesty can react to that pretty good. <clears throat> mm. 
Hmm. So we got a lot come like a lot is coming up over there to the right. A lot. Okay. Yeah. So this is a bit of a tricky situation we're in right here, huh? Uh, again, I don't like to save scum, but you know, just th this looks like a bit of a pivotal moment, if you will. So Chesty is in a great spot to take this guy down, like a, a great spot for it. Um, I think we already captured a Brute Alpha, though. Uh, like, if we're going to capture one thing, right? Uh, we do have a Triton that we've captured, but maybe a Ghoul. Like, I mean, the, the, the variant does matter. You know, variants matter, but uh, I'd, I'd say maybe we go for that and <clears throat> instead. I, don't, I, I think, though, uh, since you do have to keep in mind that you, you, you got to keep these guys down uh keeping an enemy paralyzed is actually a little bit tricky so i think um i think just go for the kill on this one right here because it's easy yeah that's a that's a nice easy kill and then what is our uh, what is our chance to hit this guy it's not the best chance. It is by far not the best chance, um, but we can shoot the handgun for free. Like, we get a free handgun shot, so Chesty could run in and position better, and then, you know, we can do that. But we, we really gotta think about what's going on over here. Uh, there is some nasty, nasty things going on over here. So that guy's real close. I think Quick Aim could probably take him down. Probably. Uh, All I need is a clear shot. That's a pretty clear shot. I, I'd say uh, Quick Aim will work out just fine there. Um... But let's maybe, <clears throat> yeah, let's, let's maybe just get a grenade in here. So we got Sito. Throw that grenade. And the hope, all right, the, the hope is that we throw the grenade and maybe destroy that wall a little bit, right? Like maybe, maybe take that wall down just a notch. Wow, the uh, so like terrain is quite destructible in this game. However, it it seems so random as to how it gets destroyed. <clears throat> like you you would think you'd get like a little more out of that, but uh, guess not. Okay, quick aim time. Acquiring target. <laughs> Alright, alright, we, uh... Okay, we shot his arm off. Great. I'll, I'll take that. Let's apply the quick aim. Zooming in. Okay, it is dazed, which, uh... So I, okay, when enemies are dazed, it, it basically means their action points are shot out for the next turn. Uh, as, as far as I as far as I know, that's kind of what it means. <clears throat> I mean that and he lost his arm too. Like he has he literally has no arm with which to attack, so uh, should be okay. That one is uh, that one is now also dazed and again doesn't have an arm, so they can't they physically can't really do a whole lot to me. Finger on the trigger. Oh, that is a not a great shot. Not a great Watch shot. This. Like when you have such a bad shot, I think a grenade is the way to go or not. Scatter! Scatter! I, I love scatter. 
<laughs> uh, okay, the, sni the sniper should be able to get something going here. Yeah, the sni okay, the sniper can actually hit. Go for the arm. Pressing. Did did that land? I didn't see it didn't Oh my god, they didn't hit anything. Wow. Five by five. Wow. Oh man. I didn't know it was possible to miss that bad. Um I think we need to we need to execute some gunkata over here. Uh, not enough uh yeah, not not really enough there. Okay. Then uh we'll just we'll just hang back then, I guess. Yeah. Okay, we got Willem Dafoe. What can Willem Dafoe do? And when it comes to these guys, like they're both dazed. M most of those enemies are dazed, so they shouldn't be too much of a problem, I don't think. Hopefully Willem Dafoe can pull this off without getting murdered. That one's a gunner. Okay. So gunner down. Uh-oh. The game is the game is calculating. Uh-oh. There's a Yeah, there's a delirium monster spawning. Hmm. Good old delirium monsters. Ready to engage. <laughs> Great shot! <laughs> okay, um, how about this one? Oh my god. Honestly, uh, let's see if the AI does a better job than I do. Like, let's see if the AI can get a shot there. Honestly, I think the AI did as good as you could possibly do in, in that scenario. I can't... Could, I, I can't see myself doing any better on that one, really. On the move. Okay. Yeah. So delirium monster. The the good thing is the delirium monsters don't seem to. They, they don't seem to hit that hard. <clears throat> they're they're mostly an annoyance. At least so far. Oh no! Infected by virus. So they've been infected by a weak Pandora virus strain lose will points each turn equal to the viral damage value, but it'll decrease each turn. You'd think getting infected by the Pandora virus would be a little bit more concerning. You would think, right? Oh, oh, this is gonna hurt. Ooh, nice. Oh my god. Oh my god. Retaliation is amazing. <clears throat> like I did I I did like I didn't know retaliation worked like that. That it, it's basically um when retaliation is triggered, it gets triggered hard by everyone. Uh-oh. That's broken. Uh-oh. Okay, we got ready ish. Uh can't he can't use his uh uh, can't use his weapon anymore. That's a problem. So our heavy is completely out of commission, basically. The the only thing the heavy can do is throw a grenade. Yeah, he can he can throw a grenade, and that's about all he can actually do. Uh, then in that case, let's back him off a little bit, maybe. Uh, or or do we just do we just throw it? Do we just throw it? We could kill that, right? Yeah, so that's that's at least dead. Ready to fire. Oh well. Yeah, so this this Umbra is actually a lot tougher than the previous Umbras that I've seen. Let's take a quick aim. Acquiring targets. How much ammo do we have? 
Do we ammo might actually be an issue here. Okay, there, there is still the matter of that over there. Um, that could be a problem. I'm, I might want to put the sniper on, uh, on a bit of an overwatch there, you know? Might want to do that. But in the meantime, I could dash Chesty in. And, uh, could, I could dash Chesty over there and try to uh, take that out, but I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. I think maybe get in there and try to gun kata it. Ready, willing, and able. Part of me really, really wants to get the sniper to, to take a shot, you know? Like part of me really wants to do that, but um I'm not sure the sniper right like I, I think the sniper might be better put to use protecting. Like, pr uh, protecting our other unit over there. Okay. So we don't... We don't have enough to really... Hmm. I'd say just, just shoot. Generic shot. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm worried about the, the delirium monster that's gonna, like... Like, a delirium monster is gonna pop up there, and when it pops up, it's gonna be a problem for, uh, for our heavy... So, like, having Overwatch here, this is how we could save the heavy. <clears throat> Potentially, that is. Potentially. No promises on saving that heavy. Which heavy is that? That's, uh, oh, that's input. Oh, man. I mean, lo like, look, losses can and will happen. It's just, uh, right now, resources are so tight. Not materials, we're good for materials, but <clears throat> uh, tech. Tech is very tight right now. And, um, yeah, like bo both, I'd say both tech and just uh, having enough guys and, and having them fully equipped and ready for battle, it's hard. And losing anyone right now would be very, very bad. Like, we're struggling to keep two crews fully outfitted all the time. <clears throat> so if we lost any, that would be kind of catastrophic, you know, would not be great. All right, let's move up a little bit, I guess. So the thing is, is that if I could go for a, if I could go for a stun on either one of these, that would work out. But the shot is bad. The shot is really, really bad. Like, it's super bad, this here shot. Um, but I guess uh, nothing really... Hmm. <clears throat> I, I mean, I get Like, the Myrmidon hurts, right? The Myrmidon's gonna hurt, but like... I think Chesty can survive it. I think. I hope. I sure hope Chesty can survive that. Uh, let's use gun caught up. Bullseye, identifying targets. That could have gone better. Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> like, I, uh, I've, I've never seen someone miss so badly. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, shit. <laughs> well, now we're in danger. We we are we are firmly in the danger zone now. Hmm. Sound like you said fuck you. <laughs> Damn, the Pandorans are learning. So yeah, Chesty is 
not great right now. This 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 is bad. This is quite bad. Hmm. Come on. Uh, it, it does sound like they're saying just fuck you. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> and the arms are disabled again, right? Guess it's my turn. Yeah, Sito's arms are disabled, so all you can do is heal yourself. That's that's about all you got. Man, this mission's going badly. Okay, Willem Dafoe can. This better work. Will Willem Dafoe can save the day. Maybe, hopefully. So yeah, the Umbra is just the Umbra. It's not real. It's not real. <laughs> yeah. So like, it's a fake enemy. Like this isn't. Yeah, so the, the thing is, the Umbra enemies aren't, like, they actually just aren't real, so they're, uh, yeah, I, I guess you just, you know, yeah, you're, you're shooting air right now. <clears throat> yeah, just shooting air, but that air hurts, huh? Okay. Heavy is still, I think, our best Ready. bet, but... Oh, man. I think just kill this guy. Oh, wow, that didn't kill it. Mmm. Mmm. Uh, but I really, really need to heal with Chesty. I really need that heal. Alright, I, I took a bit of a bad shot, but it's like, I, I need Chesty to not die right now. <clears throat> okay, we're all med-kitted up. So here's the good thing, right? Like, yeah, our Heavy can't use their hands, which... It's like, how's that the good thing? Well, okay, look, they can't use their hand, but... They could interact with the, the clicky, right? Like, the thing, the thing that we need to get... Uh, the thing that we need to get is in this building, I think, right? It, it's the building they're all fucking guarding, so I assume it's in there. So yeah, like, we can, we can jet jump straight to where we need to go. Still going for Chesty. Oh no, panic! Th this is the first time someone's panicked. They cannot be controlled for a turn. Okay. Oh man. All right, let's try to get a little closer and. Uh... Just need the right angle. Oh, we gotta reload. Oh, crap. Reloading. Mmm. Oh my god, we are one point away from a stun. We are... We are one point off from a goddamn stun attack. One point off! Okay, if the sniper, if the sniper can just please, please hit the mark. That's a bad shot. This is a better shot. It's still not a great shot, but... Ah, oh, crap. No one can hit anything. Ready for action. Okay, but in input can get in here and get the files, right? Where the fi- I, I saw them. Yeah, there they are. They weren't showing up before. Okay, before I do that, before I do that, uh, I, I guess now we save, because I think things might happen after this. 
<clears throat> I mean, I wonder if this would just end the mission too. I I feel like it wouldn't. I feel like it wouldn't end the mission Ready when there's begin. a guy still out, right? Okay, we destroyed their redeemer. They have no shotgun anymore, so they they literally can't shoot us. That's good. Uh, get the files now, please. Okay, and now we have to secure the area. So, so okay, we, we, we take that down, we're good. <clears throat> I'm gonna go for the stun still. Alright. Keep it together, operative. Just get in there and, like, point blank stun gun them. Just, just point blank with that. Hostile wounded, but active. Okay, okay. Thank God. That mission could have gone better. Could have gone better. But we got seven points. Uh, seven points for the pool, and everyone... I mean, there was some good EXP to go around, but yeah, everybody got injured real bad. So yeah, I, I sure hope this was worth it. I, I kind of, I, I also forget who we were doing this mission for, exactly. <laughs> Sinedrian, so okay. Something has survived of the Firebird Initiative after all. Stas and Nikolai will be pleased to hear that. They founded the Initiative, you know, back in the days when our disagreements went tearing us apart. Strange to think of two people who love each other so much, being on opposite sides. But there I go, involving you in Synedrion drama again. Ah, <clears throat> uh, yes, I forgot the... <clears throat> so Synedrion is more than one faction. It's, uh... Like, it, it's a faction, but there's factions within the faction, and you, you gotta choose who you support. Ugh. Now, look. Anything you share with us will be shared with everyone. But there's tremendous symbolism to who you said it with first. Our whole internal discourse is increasingly being defined by the polyphonic tendency and the terraformers. And what you choose to do may affect who comes out on top in this debate. Hmm. Hmm. So, uh, okay. I mean, all right. So humanity matters most. Share with the terraformers. Or we must heal, not dominate, share with the polyphonic tendency. <clears throat> or we don't do Sinedrian drama, share with both. Huh. I, I feel like sharing with both would be kind of the best thing to do, but, um... Yeah, I guess, uh, I, I guess whoever we kind of support, it, uh, it's, it sort of takes them forward, right? Um... Hmm. Um. <clears throat> I mean, we we kind of we we kind of supported the polyphonic tendency first. Uh, this time around, I guess we'll. Uh, uh. I mean, I guess it'll be yeah, it will be shared with everyone, but it's who you're backing. I I think. Uh, no, no, we. My Phoenix project is as neutral as it can possibly be, but with a leaning towards, you know, humanity first, right? Uh, but but as, other than that, as neutral as we can go. So we don't do the drama. A sensible solution. I wouldn't know how to choose either. <clears throat> Both sides are equally convincing and equally annoying. Oh, a new Phoenix base has been restored. Ooh, nice. Nice. And, uh, yeah, and we got a plus five. Hmm. And they are now willing to share advanced nanotechnology. Ooh. So what does this do? Can be used to automatically identify and eliminate a variety of threats to an operative's life, from fire to viral infection. Like, what that actually amounts to, we'll see, right? Oh god, look, just 
all of the all the med kits and and bullets and grenades everything i used in that mission like 186 materials which is you know that's a lot but we we're good for it uh the tech only 30 tech but when you only have 90 like oh that hurts that hurts a lot <clears throat> Okay, we are now aligned with uh, Sinedrian's goals. We're, we're also aligned with Jericho as well. So we're, we're aligned with both Jericho and Sinedrian. Uh, the disciples are the ones that we're kind of lagging behind on. But I am, I am trying to play the field and uh, I'm trying to be in, in the good graces of all factions for as long as I can be. <clears throat> I'm sure there will come a point where I have to be a little more decisive, but in the meantime, I'm 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 trying. I'm trying to be neutral. But yeah, all of their research is now shared with me. Nice. <clears throat> okay, so we got some big research we need to do. There's one Pandora instruction out and or structure out. Uh, we need to we need to autopsy a siren. And the hatching is going to happen in three days, and then uh, that is just going to throw a wrench into everything. Like, all hell is going to break loose in three days. But uh, in the meantime, yeah, I want to... Um, I, I really want to do this Pandoran nest right here, because that'll give us good standing with everyone. Like, there's, there's no better way to unify everyone than to take down a nest. <clears throat> and... Let's see, the Manticore 3, that's still... Um, oh my god, these bases are like right next to each other. Oh my god. I kind of wish I hadn't built this base then, right? Because yeah, this this one is right next to it. God damn it. <laughs> god damn it. Well, what do we got here? So it has a living quarters, uh, it has some facilities and stuff, but like... Man, man, yeah, I, I do wish I hadn't I hadn't uh, claimed the other one up then, because this one is kind of it, it's kind of redundant, honestly. That's unfortunate. That is very, very, very unfortunate. Hmm. Also, did we did we actually get the Pandoran that we captured in that last mission? I think so. Yeah, we, we captured a Triton. It's just I captured a Myrmidon once and I didn't uh that I didn't get it at the end of the mission. Like I paralyzed it and everything, but it didn't didn't do anything. Okay, so I wanna get that food harvesting tech. God, there's so many, so many things here. <clears throat> I mean, our, res uh, our research is pretty fast, though. Like, research is coming along quite quickly, and that's good. Oh, we get 250 materials if we research the Anu's, uh, you know, their, their weird cult. Hmm. <clears throat> And then, of course, the Siren Autopsy advances things, but, uh... There's a lot of, a lot of good stuff here, it's just, I... Yeah, there's too much good stuff here. It's hard to know what you really want to get first, you know? <clears throat> so... Hmm. I wish some of this research would give me more tech. I could use that. But I'd like to deal more damage to Tritons, honestly. Like, d doing more damage to an enemy type is actually quite handy. Mm. The combat training, too, it's, uh... We should probably build more training facilities and just have more... Have more recruits that are just hanging out in a base. Alright, but for now, I want to harvest food from Pandorans, because we have a couple Pandorans just sitting in storage. And, uh, yeah, in the, the vivisection. 
Okay, as for personnel, no new recruits just yet, but... So the Manticore Prime, that's the one that was just on a mission, and they got fucked up real bad. But, uh, I don't think anybody leveled up or anything. Yeah, there were no, there were no level ups. Just everyone getting hurt a lot. Like, oh great. <clears throat> so what could I do to, to make them a little bit better? Hmm. So I, I, you know, now that we're getting shot a lot more, I am seeing the value in something like Skirmisher. So if you take damage during the enemy turn, your attacks deal 25% more damage until end of turn. And now, I, I assume the till end of turn, I assume that means till the end of my turn, I would assume. So, uh, yeah, 25% more damage would be pretty nice. Pretty nice. <clears throat> I, I do think that getting all of the abilities is probably ideal, but, uh, you know, as an order of operations, and also, yeah, we, we always need more, like, especially if you're getting shot a lot more, uh, like, like, one, one point in strength doesn't mean a lot, like, oh, that's ten more health, right? Uh, but hey, five points, that's fifty more health, that makes a difference. And then every 10 points is 100 more health, and that... Like, going going from 200 to 350 health is a noticeable increase in survivability. <clears throat> so I, uh, I am tempted to just go with that, but you need all those core stats, that's the thing. <clears throat> hmm. And I'm just tempted to to wait until, you know, like just just wait until you can level up and then uh, get access to that last perk, right? Let's see, for Chesty, so I could I could take on a new class with Chesty. I, I still don't really think there's a lot of good options, though. Gotta be honest. <clears throat> Like, uh, out, of, out of everything we have, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't really think much of it helps a melee, you know, a melee slash close range specialist. I, I think uh, the Disciples, they have one other class, the Priest. I I don't know what the Priest does, but I think maybe uh, maybe unlock that <clears throat> and, and then use that with Chesty, but I'm not, I'm not sure. And the good thing is they don't force you to make a decision on that right away. That's that's the good thing. Also, you know, in that last mission, Killer Instinct would have come into play, right? Because uh, we, we started the turn, right? And there was that Myrmidon right next to us. Uh, so attacking that Myrmidon would have been a free... Like, I, that would have been a free first hit, right? So actually, Killer Instinct... I am seeing, I am seeing the use case for it. it. It's not something that you should, like, I don't think it's something that you should try to trigger, but it's something that, it, it comes up, basically. It, it comes up whether you want it to or not. <clears throat> okay. But otherwise, I think our main team, uh, I, th I think the main Manticore team should probably just go back to base right about now. Like, they, they honestly kind of just need to rest, and uh, when, when the main team is rested up... So, like, I, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna assume that the Sphinx team here, I'm gonna assume they're gonna get beat up real bad going into this nest, so they're probably gonna be out of commission too for a little bit. Uh, but as long as someone, as long as I can put together a full team to deal with, uh, with the hatching within three days, as long as I can do that, we're good. All right, as long as I can pull that off. Okay, and the Sphinx is getting ready for this one. Okay, so medium threat level. 
Uh, honestly, the nests haven't been too bad. Um, it, it's mainly just that, like, it, it's very easy to trigger the hatching sentinel without, without even really realizing that you're doing it. But, uh, but, but real quick, before I do that, uh, I just want to check something real quick. I just want to tab out of the game for one second, just make sure that everything is going, you know, everything is okay. Because it's a, it's a very quiet day today. Very quiet day. I mean, it's Monday. It's a Monday. So, of course, it's quiet. But uh, just, just making sure we're all, you know, we're all good. And uh, also, because the Twitch app constantly, like, I feel like I have to, I, I feel like I have to fight the Twitch app. I feel like I gotta do battle with this thing. Um, I'm just gonna give it a quick reset on my end, uh, just in case. Again, it it can get quiet on Mondays, but I like to make sure everything is actually <laughs> make sure everything's actually going smoothly. It's good to give it a check every now and then. <clears throat> okay. All right, everything's everything's going okay. All right, let's get in there. <clears throat> so, okay. So this is our main team. Well, this was the main team. Like Sophia was the main team. Manticore Prime is kind of the main now, but mm, mixed, mixed on that. <clears throat> So we have a lot of assaults, but we do have a sniper. We have a sniper on the team, and we have two heavies. We got, like, we got, we got good firepower, uh, and then we got stormtrooper, who's kind of the new guy. He's he's sort of just the new guy. Uh, oh boy, stormtrooper is really green. He doesn't have anything. He's got literally nothing. Uh, I kind of feel like I should bump him up some. Like give give like I'm I'm gonna have to dip into the pool right but um, dipping into the pool or no I think he needs a little more speed. <clears throat> so okay yeah a little little more speed on there. But other than that I I don't know good good luck right good luck stormtrooper try not to die. He's got shitty armor he has a new Jericho rifle which. The new Jericho rifles, they're they're Gauss weapons. They're not they're not bad. They they do tend to hit hard, but they um they're not the most accurate. They are definitely not the most accurate. Also, other than just doing plot missions, I feel like we do need to do some scavenging. I, I feel like we gotta scavenge a little bit, cause uh, I, I either scavenge or just send people out on trade runs, because I, I need more tech. Tech is the bottleneck right now, and it's a really harsh bottleneck. Like I can't, I can't function with how little tech we have. Oh well, this is good. We start. Uh, we're, we're just starting the mission off. Boom! There's a hatch and sentinel. Get, get to it. All right. Rolling out. Hmm. I mean, this would be easy for Stormtrooper to get some shots in. But uh, maybe let's send Vexus over here because we don't know what's behind us. Uh, yeah, when you don't know what's behind you, maybe check that out. Pretty empty, actually. Not much going on. I, I don't want to send everyone to go and fight the Hatching Sentinel, you know? Okay, and it will, uh, now that you attack it, it will in fact try to murder everyone now, but I think, um, I think we'll be okay, like, it's, yeah, uh... <clears throat> Yeah, that Je man, that Jericho weapon does some good damage. Mm. So yeah, just uh, Sophia and Stormtrooper. They, yeah, those two alone, they got it. Cool. 
so uh, yeah, let's let's send our sniper forward. There. We got something. On the what do we got? It's a shield bearer alpha. I can barely see him, but uh, I can see his arm. I can see his arm right there. He ain't got no arm anymore. Okay, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna send someone to go back Vexus up here, because <clears throat> it's, it's never a good idea to send a guy out completely fucking alone. That's not, it's not great. Uh, and you never know, there might be a hatching sentinel over here too. So I think teams of three, teams of three should be fine. So we got an assault, a heavy, I mean, we got two assaults and a sniper. That's, a sniper's some good heavy firepower. Uh, and Sophia's a very, uh, a very well-trained assault unit. So I guess two heavies, uh, two heavies and an assault over this way should be. Let's make this happen. <laughs> oh man, so in smooth jazz is so enthusiastic. Uh, God, I love how enthusiastic Smooth Jazz is. But, uh, yeah, so these three and then the other three, and there you go, you got two teams. Ooh! Ooh! Damage the weapon. And we're infected. That's a scourge. Uh, Jacob's, Jacob's taking a lot of hits. We got grenade arthrons in here. Oh boy. Acquiring target. Okay. <clears throat> that is no longer a threat. Huh. I did a quick aim, but now I can't shoot. Huh. Oh, I guess I only have two. <clears throat> Only got two action points, huh? All right. Well, I don't want to move Jacob out too quickly, you know? Don't want to move him out too soon. Receiving. <clears throat> hmm. I'm prepared. So that one is a... Uh, that's a shield bearer alpha. I don't think it should be too bad of a threat. Eyes peeled. Sophia should be able to take this guy down with some quick aim. But I, I gotta decide how. Well, I definitely want to heal Jacob, because. You know. He's he's both injured and virused, so you don't wanna you don't wanna let that stand. Not for too long anyway. Hmm, having a very hard time hitting this one. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, let's let's maybe send Jacob back a bit, and let's get our uh, let's get our resident stormtrooper up here. So he's only got he's he's only gonna have one singular shot. He's not gonna have much of a like he, he's not gonna have much of a chance to do anything other than that, like other than take that one shot, right? <clears throat> So, mm, almost, almost. Maybe, maybe I can make it work. Like maybe it'll bleed to death. Oh no, they regenerate, don't they? They like to regenerate. Okay, let's break line of sight. Okay. What's the plan? Hmm. Operative on the move. Ready to go to work. Let's go. All right. I, I could, you know, I could like try to back them up over there, but uh, I don't think it's, I don't think it's needed to do that. We're already there. Do want to have some Overwatch going forward, though. 
Okay. Yeah, not much to do but end turn. So, I see a gun on the floor, that means it died. Okay. Good, good, and good. Yes, it's my turn. Jacob should heal himself. I just need to catch my breath. <clears throat> Alright, Stormtrooper, get in there. I said get in there! Okay, he won't be able to do anything about that giant shield, really. But, uh... We can go for the leg shot. Yeah, you can you can hit the leg just fine. Or not. I guess the dead body blocked it, huh? Ah, uh, yeah, so it so it goes, so it goes. Hostile wounded. All right, the head's disabled. No choice but to keep going. Okay, they're they're doing all right. They're doing all right. I'm here. Can't wait. <clears throat> so we're trying to find that other, like, there's got to be another sentinel in here somewhere. It's got to be. Oh, that's just an egg. Hmm. Like we can we can blow eggs up next turn. Watch, like, watch that we accidentally triggered a sentinel, and that's gonna, it's gonna pop out and, and mind control someone immediately. Okay, so the shield bearer, like, it, <clears throat> okay, it's just, it's just putting its shield down. Oh, oh, come on, Jacob's panicked. Uh, <clears throat> uh. Okay, come on, stormtrooper, you got this. Do crab mutants have an afterlife? I don't... I, I don't know. They're clones. <clears throat> like, I think we established that the, the crab mutants are, at this point, mostly clones. Uh, and also they're crab mutants, so I don't know. I, I, I don't know how the rules of afterlife apply to them, exactly. Um, that one's up in the air. The philosophers will I'll have to debate on that one for a bit. Taking aim. So we got a mind fragger egg, but I think you can get it. Gotcha. No, you didn't gotcha. Try that again. Okay, now you gotcha. Now it's down. Can't wait. All right, and these guys are all ready to do whatever they're gonna sure do. Thing. Kind of working our way over here. I, I think if there's going to be a sentinel, it'll probably be down this middle path. Probably. Going in. Like, I, I feel like if it's going to be anywhere, it'll be down the middle. But I could be wrong about that. You never know. Enemy contact. Okay, we got eggs. Mine frag or egg over there. Gotta be mindful. I can make a difference. And smooth jazz. Uh, just have them hang where they are. Yeah. Okay. So there's no immediate threats to Jacob, but he's he's currently panicking. He's losing his mind. So. Uh-oh, uh-oh, they're coming in through the back. Yeah, the, the uh, enemy reinforcements, right. Enemy reinforcements will be coming. Is Jacob still panicking? He's, uh, he hit recover that turn. 
So this is a shield bearer. Does he have a gun? No. I think Jacob will be okay. I think. Probably. Probably he's fine. I'm moving nice and slow and steady here. Slow and steady. Reloading. <clears throat> yeah, I do think that one ability that lets you uh, do inventory actions and reload without without wasting uh, action points, that's probably something I want to get, actually. Probably. Okay, not really a good... Uh, Though I am, like, every now and then, you can kind of get the animation in a good place, you know? But no such luck there. Alright. Yeah, I don't, I don't chance it on them eggs. not seeing anything but honestly it's not really the enemies that kind of it's not the enemies that get to me in these missions uh, it's those towers and every now and then you know the towers like the tower is just kind of hidden and you don't see it coming and then boom suddenly oh now all the eggs are hatching and we have a problem on our hands <clears throat> Let's show them what we can do. Okay, I could send Vexus up forward a little bit more. Like, I don't want to activate any enemies is the thing, with, with no action points. And no one possibly even, you know, no one uh, about to get any action points. Don't want to, don't want to jump the gun on that. I'm repositioning. Okay. <clears throat> so I... It might get a hit off, but I, I think Jacob will be okay. Oh no, it's just gonna deploy the shield. What's our plan? And that's fine. Uh, Jacob should be able to kill him. Yeah, yeah, you got... Got a couple, got a couple of options on this one. I mean, one of those options would be to use the pistol, too. Like, this this close, the pistol might even be ideal. Hmm. But I think one way or the other, we're gonna have to quick aim. Like, one way or the other, quick aim's happening. And, yeah. <laughs> Quick aim, shoot him right in the foot. Target still active. God, I love that. Just like you have this big, heavily armored enemy with a shield, but because you know you can you can see their foot sticking out, the shield means nothing. Now, I I will say this. A lot of people, this is kind of, I, I think from what I've seen, a lot of the people who don't like Phoenix Point, <clears throat> but are huge XCOM fans, uh, this is actually something they don't like. Like, they don't like the idea that, uh, oh, you could have this really big heavily armored unit, but if their toe's sticking out the wrong way, then they could just get shot there and die, and, um... <sighs> I mean, I don't know, like, it's, uh, it goes both ways, right? Like, you could have a heavily armored guy, but if, you know, and, and you can deploy shields as well, but if your guy is, you know, if part of your guy is sticking out, then, well, like, a, a good, a good accurate shot could get around that. And the enemy will take those good accurate shots. And, you know, but it works for you too, so, if, yeah, the heavily armored enemy, like, if you can physically see its weak point, and you have a guy who has enough accuracy to hit that weak point, then you could make that work out for you. But, um, yeah, it's, it's a two-way street, which to me, like, that's, that's XCOM, right? Two-way street, all around. <clears throat> okay, 
Okay, we got eggs, but nothing special there. Poison worm eggs. I don't really think I want to shoot the poison worm egg sack just yet. They're not getting past me. Hmm. So on this map, yeah. The sentinel. Oh, I, I kind of see something going on there. So I think the, I think the sentinel's over there, possibly. <clears throat> the, the the like living shadow stuff. That doesn't necessarily mean there's a sentinel. It's a good indicator, but it doesn't necessarily have to mean anything. Yeah, there it is over there. Okay. Uh, we're not in radius of it, which is good. But it appears there's an enemy, like, right there. We might want to check that out. Here they are. Okay, it's just a, it's a, it's a, it's a mind fragger egg, and we are, we are within range of that mind fragger egg. Uh, that could be a problem. I think it's a problem now. So let's try and deal with it. <clears throat> okay. All right, but we know we, we know where the threat is, so try not to get too in range of it. Let's make this happen. God, smooth jazz is infectiously enthusiastic. Okay, so we can get to right about here, uh, but any closer and yeah. Any closer and it's the bad times. Sure thing. Requesting more enemies. Requ oh my god, he's like, requesting more enemies! <laughs> oh god, everybody's gung-ho. It's great. Let's go. Alright, next turn we'll be ready to fight that. <clears throat> so yeah, I, I don't think there's any Pandorans, like, out on the map right now. I think all we got really is the Miss Sentinel. That's about it. Preparing to fire. Yeah, it's active now, but uh Also I'm not sure if I don't think Smooth Jazz has actually shot at anything so far. <clears throat> What's our move? So I could get a shot on that guy. Uh, I think he'd still have a shot on it, but I wanna I wanna let Smooth Jazz have a chance, you know. Just wanna let Smooth Jazz have the shot. Looking for an angle. Okay, so, oh god. Okay, that might end the map. I think that ended it. Alright. Stormtrooper leveled up, yay! And Smooth Jazz. See, I knew it was a good idea to let Smooth Jazz get to get that kill. But, um... Yeah, the, honestly, the Pandoran nests aren't too bad. I, I think it'll get worse. I, th I, I think the, the nest is the lowest tier of... Like, it, it's the lowest tier of colony, right? So I, I think as you get into the higher tiers, it'll probably get bigger and more elaborate and more uh, more stressful and tedious, right? But uh, the, the nests really aren't too bad so far. They are, yeah, they, they're mostly just kind of tedious because uh, you don't know where the sentinels are and it's so easy to accidentally set them off and then, then all the mind fraggers and worms wake up and everybody's just exploding and getting mind controlled and yeah. Okay, so this, uh, I mean, the main thing is this should put our Disciples of Anu faction, like, they, they might offer the next mission? Not sure. So, we're at 57 with Jericho, 56 Sinedrian, and then, yeah, 40% with the Disciples. 
I, I mainly want their priest class. Uh, like, I, I really want their priest class. I don't even know what it does, but I want it. I, I, li I will say, I like having access to all the factions' technology. It does kind of, it does kind of mean that you have a lot of tech, tech to research, and that can be, you know, it can really slow down your progress, but um, just having all the options open to me is nice, and I, I know that you, you can open up the faction tech through other means. Like you can buy it off of the black market, you know. You can you can reverse engineer it from from killing them. Uh, I, I know there's alternate ways to get all of it, but uh, it it is honestly it, it's honestly the it's it's kind of the easiest to just be friends with them. <laughs> like if you if you want to reverse engineer all their tech, that's actually going to take a lot longer than just if they share it with you. Even if you have to do some missions, right? <clears throat> And likewise, it's less materials and tech. Um, when they just share with you, uh, you yeah, you, you waste a lot less resources. <clears throat> and also, uh, you don't have to fight them all the time, too, because that's another, that's another factor. Okay. There we go. Uh, fungal food production. So they're sharing that. I mean, we we were already, uh... Or wait, 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 no, no. Uh, we're researching right now how to, like, how to eat crab monsters, right? But, uh, fungal food production, okay. A new breed of crop has been developed based on the highly modified version of the fungi used in the traditional Anu method of tra uh, transubstantiating the bodies of the dead in the fields of trans transubsta transubstantiation. Capable of thriving in nearly any condition, the new fungal crops are capable of producing virus-free nutrition in large quantities. The fungi will also prove useful in improving our own food output. So, okay, so this is actually just another way to make food uh, that isn't eating Pandorans. So, that's, that is incredibly useful. <clears throat> I, I, I really hope that eventually we get some way to produce our own, like, materials and tech. I... I don't really understand why labs don't also produce tech, and why... I, I feel like labs should produce tech, and the, the fabrication plants, like, they should maybe make resources, or... I, I don't know, it... There's like a little, you know, there's a little plus zero, right? So, like, it's not all negatives, you gotta have some way to produce, right? I would love to be able to produce stuff. Oh, well, it's fine. So we got advanced melee weapons, and the priests. So what what do they do exactly? Huh. So advanced tech and specialized training. Okay. <clears throat> it it doesn't really say what they do exactly. Like what 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 do they do? I guess I'll have to research it and find out. Alright, but yeah, fungal food production. So output of food production facilities is increased by around 50%. <clears throat> so, uh... I mean, we don't have any food production facilities. I, I, guess that, I, I guess that would be when you start eating Pandorans, right? <laughs> okay. So I really want the priest class. I, I, I just want to... I want to have all of the... Um, yeah, I, I want to have all of the classes unlocked. But I will... I will let food harvesting take priority. <clears throat> so food harvesting and then the priest. Okay, and uh, I, I don't think... And no one really, yeah, no one really got hurt in that mission. I mean, J Jacob did get shot, but um, he recovered fully. So uh, honestly, this team is this team is ready to go. I could send them on the next mission already. Okay, so for a heavy, uh, I, I think for a heavy, I, I I think assault is just a like it it meshes right like uh, assault meshes with heavy, but. Um, 
Like sniper, what would that give? Well, like assault. Let's see. So that gives quick aim, which the the, the cannon is already super inaccurate. So it it it's not great, but there are moments where uh, accuracy doesn't matter too much. Like you're you're at close range, and being able to shoot twice is really nice. <clears throat> uh, I mean, ready for action. I can see the usefulness in ready for action. Hmm. Onslaught. Uh, rapid clearance until end of turn. After killing an enemy, next attack costs minus 2 AP. <clears throat> I can see the use in it. But yeah, I guess... Uh, other than quick aim, assault... Yeah, it actually doesn't really give a whole lot that a heavy would use. Like, I, I think heavy is great for an assault, because it makes them tougher, but... Uh, assault doesn't do a lot for heavies, actually. It doesn't do nothing, but it doesn't do a lot. Hmm. But I look at the sniper one, and overwatch cost is set to one action point for all weapons. That that would be nice for a heavy, because their weapon hits really hard. And uh, armor break would also be nice for a heavy. Their, their guns already shred armor pretty good, but even more so. Hmm. Ooh, Master Marksman. Accuracy with a proficient weapon is increased by 30%. Well, there's no spotted enemy within 10 tiles, so... So, the, the thing about the heavy weapon is that it's, uh... Yeah, it, it, it packs a real big punch, and it can hit over a large distance, but... Uh, yeah, the problem is it's not very accurate. So, um... Like, when you, when you use the weapon at a close range, accuracy is not a factor. At a close range you'll hit with it, mostly, but, uh, yeah, when, when you try to shoot at any sort of distance, um, it's damn near impossible with, uh, with the heavy weapon. So Master Marksman would actually alleviate that problem, as, as long as there's no enemy close to you, uh, then, yeah, your, your longer range shots would, would work out better. <clears throat> hmm. That is tempting. That is very tempting, I will say. I don't think, like, support would really do anything for a uh, heavy. Would I wonder, would Berserker... Would that do anything? You can dash, but... Yeah, you don't really need movement abilities on a heavy. They have the, they have the jet pack. I mean, ignore pain might be nice, just so you don't, you know, you can still wield your two-hander, but, uh, actually, you know what? Yeah, I think let's, let's try out, let's try out Sniper as a secondary class for, uh, for a heavy. I think that might be nice. Because I don't, I don't think Technician or Infiltrator, I don't think either one would really do a whole lot for a heavy. Uh, assault only barely does anything for heavy, but I, I yeah, some of the sniper stuff is pretty nice. Okay, they can't take Master Marksman yet, but soon. Uh, also, I'm gonna get Die Hard. I had to dip into the pool, but like, Die Hard is pretty nice. Uh, if you can get it on a guy, take it. <clears throat> Alright, and then, uh, yeah, Stormtrooper leveled up, so... Take that Die Hard. And Quick Aim. So he can, he can be even less accurate, but... <laughs> it's fine, it fits his theme, I guess. Give him some more speed, though, I think. Yeah, a little more speed. I, I always hate to dip into the Phoenix pool, because there's always that feeling like, oh, you're gonna need it. You, there's gonna be a guy you get and you you want to level him up real quick and oh it's gonna happen that you, you you gotta dip into the pool but really like you know you you get Phoenix SP every single battle so and everyone always needs some extra points so just just take it just just take it and run with it <clears throat> okay. Yeah, such a quiet day today. <laughs> it's it's also like yeah, sorry. I uh, like it is 
it is uh, foggy out today. Uh, the fog is kind of receding a little bit here, but uh, it's it's one of those like cool, dreary, gray days. It's ooh, a bit of a downer day. Perfect for Monday. Okay, so we got research to do, but uh, I I want to do the research that I'm currently you know pursue this path right. Diplomacy. Let's see what we got. So yeah, there's a lot of sabotage. I don't want to sabotage anyone. I would prefer not to sabotage anyone. Uh, I, I feel like the Disciples, they're probably going to turn hostile with um, Jericho soon. It's still interesting to me that um, the factions, some of them can be hostile to one another, but they're not, it's not mutual. Like, Sinedrian don't like Jericho right now, but like, they're, you know, they're... But Jericho, they don't like Sinedrian, but they're not hostile to Sinedrian. It's, it's weird, right, how they can be lopsided like that. <clears throat> hmm. Well, all right. So, uh, okay, the Sphinx team is actually doing fine, uh, but I would rather I'd rather use the Manticore team to go after uh, the hatching. I, I'd rather do other stuff with the with the Phoenix team or with the Sphinx team. So, um, like, I, I'd like to maybe do some trading with them because we need tech so badly, and specifically, like, food for tech is the trade that I would make. Even even when it's a bad trade, but we got we got fungal food production coming up. We've got uh, you know we can harvest food from Pandorans. Like food, I don't think is gonna be much of a problem in in our game here. But uh, yeah, food's gonna be you know food's not gonna be an issue. But tech is a big one, and materials are also another big one. Like we got we we got things we gotta we got to keep on top of and i i think doing a bad trade on food it's it's fine it's honestly fine so i i did save yeah I, uh, panic save nervous panic saving intensifies let's uh yeah let's let's do some exploring we're going to uh do some trading and also some scavenging <clears throat> the manticore team i'm sending them back to home base uh, I will, I'll have the Manticore team do, uh, do the hatching, but, but first, yeah, first, uh, we, we need to trade and all that with the other guys. Okay, some repairs are complete. I do have satellite, more satellite uplinks coming. Okay, so, trade. So, I needs that tech. And it's a horrible, horrible trade, but I will accept it. The food for materials trade here isn't that... It's not terrible. It's, it's yeah, four food for six materials. Like, that's not a bad trade. I'd do it. Yeah. I do think... I do think this is kind of the advantage of playing the fence sitter. Uh, like, I, none of the factions don't like me. They all like me pretty good. So, uh, I have I have very open and free access to all of the various markets in the game. So, I, I always have lots of options when it comes to trading. And I think I should make more use of that, right? Like, I should, I should make use of the fact that I can trade real good with everyone. <clears throat> okay, so uh, we got 130 tech, and I am... Like, here's the problem, I'm tempted to make more gear, because we need more gear, but at the same time, uh, you know, we need gear, we, we I, I would certainly love to have, like, a Helios up and running so we could get around quicker, but at the same time, at the same time, um, we could use more guys, because we have a third Manticore, right? Uh, we, we do have that third Manticore, where is it? It's, uh... It's over here, yeah. We've got a we've got a third Manticore down at the Sumral Memorial Base. So uh, if we could get down there, 
right? If we could get down there. Um, yeah, we could have another team up and running, right? I would love that. And if we do that, we'd need more guys. We, we would need more guys to flesh the team out. <clears throat> Although, I, I guess what I could do, actually, you know what? Uh, what I could do is I could send... Like, when, whenever you recruit someone, you can send them to a base, right? So what I could do is I could recruit a guy and just send them directly to Sumeral, right? And then once they're at Sumeral, they could pilot the Manticore and they could go exploring or, you know, take it back to Phoenix Point. So we've got a satellite coming, we've got security station. <clears throat> oh, they've got a medical bay down there. Ooh. But uh fabrication. What other things like what else can we build? Just the containment. Yeah, I, I feel like there should be like some I don't know, some more facilities. I, I still wish we had like production facilities. But uh, the fabrication plant, materials aren't the issue. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. Hmm. So, yeah, the... The tech. The tech. I, I guess the thing is, I'm not even manufacturing anything right now. Like, I'm not manufacturing anything because I don't have the resources to manufacture anything. And also, I, I need to activate more bases, too. Like, I, I do need to activate bases and kind of, you know, stay on top of that one. Also, do I, have a, do I have an extra farm module? I don't think I do. No. So actually, if I'm going to make anything, it would be another farm module. So yeah... The thing is, if I want a third plane in action, guess what I need? I need another farm module so that the plane can actually have more than just two guys on it. Because two guys on a plane is... Like, two guys ain't enough for a mission. I'm gonna be blunt. I, I, I know I've done missions with two guys in it, but it doesn't, it, it, it doesn't feel good. <laughs> Like, it, it feels super stressful to do a mission with only f uh, two people on it. <clears throat> I, I think you want at least four. I'm, I'm gonna be... Yeah, I'm gonna say that, like, four people is kind of the bare minimum for a mission. For comfort, anyway. Uh, more is better, but, like, four is, like, the, the absolute minimum I want to go in with. <clears throat> so if I want a third team, I need another farm module. That's just... That's gotta happen. So... Like, it's gotta happen sooner or later, so you might as well have it produced now so that you can equip it when when you're ready to get that third crew going. <clears throat> and then to get a third crew going, I mean, I might want to just buy a, a unit at the... Yeah, like, buy a unit at the marketplace. The good thing about buying a unit is that they come, uh, they come readily equipped, read readily equipped and prepared with everything that you need. They don't like you don't have to buy their gear, which is very nice. So we do have a technician, although like our technician isn't the greatest because uh, he doesn't have any equipment right now, which I guess we might want to you know get on that, but. We could buy a spy master, and uh, yeah, this, the spy master. I guess they'd be like they would. They'd be ready to go. Uh, that's the good thing. Hmm. Like that. That is kind of what I like about buying guys off the marketplace. Is they're always ready to go. But uh, hmm, I, I think maybe we like maybe do a little more trading and or scavenging before we go buying another unit. <clears throat> Might be a good idea. Hmm. Alright. 
well, I guess uh, we can, yeah, sca scavenging. I wanted to scavenge a little bit, try to get some more resources. I'm keeping an eye on the hatching, but uh, trying to get some more tech done and trying to get some more more tech and materials and all that. Okay. So, food harvesting tech. Yeah, we can extract edible biomass from Pandoran specimens. The taste is terrible. Uh, is the first step in ensuring that the Phoenix Project personnel have the necessary nourishment. As long as live specimens are brought from the field, they can be transformed into rations. In order not to cause disruption or morale issues, all information regarding Project Cornucopia has been compartmentalized. Only individuals with harvester access clearance are allowed to perform the procedure. So, so basically, we're we're uh, we're making those Advent burgers, right? Or I guess this is Phoenix patties. Okay, we, I don't know, Phoenix, Phoenix Nuggets, all right? Don't ask what's in the Phoenix Nuggets or the Phoenix Crab Cakes. <clears throat> so we can produce, yeah, food from captured Pandorans in the, the containment facility. Oh! Are you aware of the legend of Fort Bacon? Hmm. It's a tall tale, a myth of the post-apocalypse that circulates among our soldiers. It tells of a haven where people have found a way to safely eat the Pandorans, which, if reports are to be believed, actually taste of bacon. Hmm. It's a very human response, I suppose. Not unlike the utopias dreamed up by medieval peasants. But despite what Sinedrian may tell us, there is no land of plenty, no secret haven ruled by Prester John. The reality of this world is constant struggle against infection. I wonder, has the Phoenix Project forgotten that? Have you decided to set up your own little cocaine, where the corpses of our enemies are a source of health and happiness? Uh-oh. Okay, so, so, uh, okay, New Jericho, they don't like, they don't like what we're doing here. Uh, let's see, so this is pragmatic, guided by reason. Uh, partaking of the flesh of the enemy is a step towards learning to exist in the new world. And that, that sounds like a very Anu thing to say. Uh, the process is entirely safe. Uh, opposing it because of uh, misophobia is absurd. Hmm. I mean, it's a, it is a pragmatic choice guided by reason. Like, yes, we, ne we need food, <laughs> right? We, we need to eat. And we need, uh, we need food to trade for, too, so... It is entirely practical. A logical argument, at least on the surface. But I remember how many irrational policies were justified by an appeal to pragmatism. Even as the Pandora virus was destroying the world we knew. I would advise avoiding short-term thinking and considering the long-term risks inherent in this technology you have developed. The Pandorans are the problem, not the solution. Hmm. So yeah, we lost four points with them. That's a that is actually quite a dip, and uh, that also made them not like Sinedrian, which is weird because I felt I felt like the answer I gave them was very practical, you know, <clears throat> very very practical and uh, matter of fact, which they usually like. <clears throat> but either way, I mean, four points. Uh, that's still over fifty percent. <clears throat> like that's yeah that's uh, so Sinedrian is our number one again uh, for a while New Jericho was number one but they've, we've fallen out of favor Construction complete. okay satellite uplink at Phoenix Foxtrot uh, which base is that <laughs> I honestly like which, which base is Phoenix Foxtrot it's this one okay then, uh, I think the next uplink is at Sumral. Yeah. So if we can get a guy over there, at the very least, um... Yeah, if, if we can just get a guy over there, we could start up a new team. Might be worth it to do that. Okay, the crew of Phoenix Point are fully healed and rested. So, okay, that's good, but I think we might want to wait, like... I, I think waiting for the hatching to kind of be near its conclusion is... I think that's best. But the Phoenix Point... Uh, yeah, that, that team is ready to go, right? 
Oh, oh, no, wait, yeah, the Manticore Prime crew hasn't even gotten there yet. That's just the, that's just the reservists that are good to go. Ah, okay. Then, yeah, keep on, keep on going here. Alright, so, before we do anything, I, I save a lot, but it's because things get wild, so. Explore. Okay, and they're back here now, that's good. Uh. Though I am tempted... Wait, this one's n is a new haven? What is this? Ah, it's um, it's an independent haven. But, uh, yeah, we might want to go, go up there and trade with New Jericho a little bit. Again, it's a bit of a bad trade, but... <clears throat> I don't know, we'll, we'll, let, we'll let the Prime crew, we'll let them rest for now. Hmm, the reshaping of animals. The Sphinx has encountered what at first appears to be an Anu religious procession, but is in fact a scientific expedition. We've come to seek understanding of the divine principles that guide the reshaping of animals. The Anagnostes leading the expedition tells our operative to understand why claw replaces hand, why eye becomes stalk. It is only one step in the long road, of course, but how else will we reach enlightenment? Huh, so we can either sabotage them, assist them, or let them proceed. <clears throat> so I assume let them proceed is just kind of the neutral option, but if we assist, I, I mean, we might get a mission out of that even, but I, I assume that'll like kind of make everyone else a little uneasy. But I, I guess, you know, the Disciples are the lowest faction that we have... Uh, relations with right now so uh kind of bumping them up is always a good idea i guess oh man new jericho really doesn't like that oh we're, we're that put us under 50 percent. that might be a bad idea then hmm okay they're grateful for the assistance uh the the thing is i uh I, yeah i don't really want to go under 50 percent. like once we get to 50 percent, i'd rather i try to like stay over that that number but uh and it didn't it didn't really like advance us all that much either so i think I, I, that one i i, I kind of want to walk back and i'd let them i would let them proceed but i wouldn't um yeah like i'd, I'd let them proceed but i wouldn't i wouldn't uh help out i i am trying to be the fence sitter here and be on good like good good allied terms with everyone so if we can get over 50 percent, i try not to try not to let that slip away because <clears throat> i think if you go under 50 percent, that probably means we we lose the you know we lose the research share i would assume and i want that research share i really want it okay so we will still explore but uh Okay. Wait, what? <laughs> Nothing useful was found. Huh. Okay, okay. So, see, I I was a little unsure about how this worked, but uh yeah, appar apparently it it's just completely random. Now, wait a second. I wonder. I wonder. Okay, okay. Okay, guys, bear with me. Bear with me. I don't usually do this, but I'm actually really curious about how a game mechanic works right now. So, I'm gonna load up again, uh, and I'm, I'm very curious to see if, uh... I figured there's like a chance that you could either find the thing or not find the thing, but I am very curious if what you find is even randomized like i i'm i'm so curious to know if uh whenever you do like a, a scavenging exploration site if it is just a hundred percent random like like random generation and it could just be anything or if there's something specific at each site i gotta know it's completely random this kind of changes how I think about these exploration sites now. Okay, so this time around, 
Uh, we've discovered a theme park dedicated to the Lucrative Lads, a novelty boy band made up of young hedge fund man <laughs> managers uh, who enjoyed enormous success with their single Golden Gecko before crashing spectacular <laughs> spectacularly <clears throat> when their second album failed to sell more than 100 copies. The park, like the band itself, was initially thought to be intended ironically. It is unusually well preserved. <clears throat> Rupert Classy Lad Kane, formerly of the band, now works as an analyst for New Jericho. <laughs> uh, in an urgent message, he pleads for us to destroy the park and not let anyone know about it. Mr. West does not know about my history with the band, he says, and I don't know what he would do if he found out I was part of something so frivolous. <laughs> Uh, so we could set the park on fire, we could dismantle the park for materials, or we could share the information with New Jericho. Hmm. <laughs> this is an interesting one. Uh, I mean, hey look, I always need materials, right? So uh, I'll, I'll dismantle it for materials. Yeah, half the park appears to be made of plywood, but there's at least a few bits and pieces we can repurpose. But uh, yeah, so like my my thought on these these uh, exploration sites is it's changed a little. So it's it's just purely random. Like there's no rhyme or reason behind it at all. Just 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 total total random. Hmm. <clears throat> But what that means is, is that you could, yeah, like you could basically just save scum over and over again until you kind of get the result that you want. Like, you can totally do that. Nothing's stopping you. <clears throat> hmm. Right, I'm just looking to see, like, how long it takes them to replenish their stocks. Alright, uh, do I want to hit this one? I, I do want to let our, uh, I want to let our Manticore Prime team, uh, they're almost good to go. I want to let them rest up until they're really good and then, uh, then send them off to the hatching. <clears throat> Alright, so I, I guess now you really, I mean, if you get, like, a really bad result, then I, I guess you do want to save scum it, but otherwise, otherwise... Yeah, I guess if you felt like it, you could just keep re-rolling until you, until you get a scavenging site you actually want. Okay, Manticore Prime is ready to go. I'm I'm putting off this hatching, but like, yeah, we gotta, we, we do gotta do it. Okay, approaching the burned-out husks of a new Jericho convoy, our operatives are suddenly startled by a shout. From a rudimentary shelter dug out under one of the burned vehicles emerges a battered New Jericho technician, waving his arms and laughing. Exhausted by the ordeal, yet deeply grateful, the survivor offers to join the Phoenix Project. So we could recruit him, we can always use more people, uh, we can send him back to New Jericho, or we could just straight up execute him for no reason. Uh, why would you execute him? All that would do is make New Jericho hate you. <clears throat> hmm. So yeah, I assume if we send him back to New Jericho, then we get a little, we get a little something with them. Uh, so we do have a technician already, but he doesn't have any gear. I guess we have enough stuff we could maybe get, we could maybe build his armor now. But uh, I'm, I'm not really sure how much I'll, like, how much use I'll get out of technicians exactly. I'm not sure. So I think sending him back to Jericho is probably the good idea. Like that'll. That'll probably get us some points there, and we, you know, since we lost some, we could use, you know, we could, we could get a little back. <clears throat> hmm. Because, yeah, I, re recruiting, sure, maybe, but I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Well, then again, I mean, we do need... We do need someone at that one base to pilot the Manticore, right? We do need that, so I guess, yeah, 
Uh, sure, why not? We can make up the faction later. Okay, Jake Taylor has has arrived. So hopefully, I'm hoping that he arrives with full equipment. I'm hoping he comes fully equipped. If not, then we have a bit of a problem. So, uh, Sumral is, I believe, the correct base. I believe. Sumral Memorial Base. That's the one down here, yeah. Yeah, let's send him. Okay. Oh, goody. So, yeah, he came... He came fully equipped, or... Yeah, that's a he. So, okay, fully equipped, good to go, awesome. Hmm, I like his goatee. But, uh, so he's got, he's got a gun, that's good. <clears throat> and he has, uh, he has the armor, which is good. But he does seem to be missing a little something. Like, where's the, where's the... Like the the tech spider arm things, where where where's where's them at? Cause yeah, he's got like he's he's got the uh, the body armor, but no, like yeah, they're supposed to have like those kind of arms on their back, right? Or is that a is that a separate attachment that you have to that you have to get? Hmm. Hum. Well, either way, we can put him on Manticore 3. So, Manticore 3 now has a pilot. Okay, so Manticore 3 has a pilot, and it, it is capable of carrying a full crew now. That's good. <clears throat> so we got, uh, yeah, we, we got three Manticores ready for action. Not sure what to call this third one, though, because I, I do like to keep them separate just a little bit. We got Manticore, we got Sphinx. We're kind of going with mythological creatures, I think, right? Oh, this could be uh, the, the Chimera, right? Wait, wait, hold up. Got to do it in all... In all caps there. <clears throat> so, the, the naming convention continues. And Mr. Jake Taylor here, uh, well... He's a technician, he's a support. I'm trying to think what names we still need to to slip on in there. Hmm. Memes and or stream characters, as usual. Hmm. And it's been a while, I was thinking Z. Good old Z, but uh <laughs> been a bit. Um Hmm. Eh, let's see. We, we need more memes, though. We got we got we have a stormtrooper already, so maybe we want like something in that line, right? So okay, okay. We could we could have a we could have a Han Solo, right? Or uh, maybe if you wanted to make it a little more ambiguous, like an H a solo. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, why not? You got a, a, a Han Solo. Why not? So the the Star Wars memes intensify a little bit. Can we give him a look that's a little more again? You're not gonna find a whole lot here, but... Like, uh, yeah, I think the best I can do really is just take the beard off and that's, that's kind of what you got. Give him a different head. But yeah, there's not, not a whole lot to choose from. That's just kind of how it is, you know? That is good enough. Good enough.
I could change the armor pattern around a little bit. It, it looks like he's wearing pajamas, though. I gotta, I gotta be straight. It, it looks like he's wearing pajamas. Can't unsee it. Can we get him, like, a darker color? Yeah, like, just a bit of a... A, a, a bit of a darker color, I think. But he's got yet like where's all the yellow coming from? Is that tied to his eye color? No. I, I guess the armor is just I guess yellow is just the armor's color, right? Yeah, I, I guess that's just kind of the color that the armor has. Hmm. Okay. It's whatever. <clears throat> or actually, you know what? I don't know. Like he's got like the maybe maybe this would be more of our Bob, uh, Boba Fett. But then again, that that'd probably be a heavy, right? That'd be like a New Jericho heavy. This is fine. This is fine. We take our memes where we can get them. But uh, all right, we have a. Yeah, we have another vehicle that is, uh, well, as soon as we get some satellite coverage here, uh, that's kind of thing, we need to get some satellite coverage so that we can start detecting sites. Uh, but once we can detect some sites, then, you know, we can, uh, we, we can have this manticore go out and meet up with the other manticores. Or, you know, this one can, uh, it can patrol the, uh, North and South Americas. <clears throat> All right. So Sphinx is still just out and about. Anu priest class. So what? What does it like? There's a lot of fluff, but what does it do? They've been granted sacred forms of mutation and various holy powers, such as the ability to control the minds of the weak and to manipulate the mist. Huh. Hmm. Okay. Apparently they use virus rifles normally. Huh. So, okay. They get like some very basic armor going on here. Ooh, okay, so we're dealing in mutation here. So, um, yeah, we're, we're dealing in, in mutations. So there's three different mutations. Radiant Hope. Living allied units within seven tiles recover two will points at the start of the turn. Instill Frenzy. Increase their speed by 33% and immune to panic. And then Screaming Head. Gives Psychic Scream. Reduce the will points of all enemy units in an 8 tile radius, and mind control immunity. Hmm. <clears throat> so, uh... Yeah, so, okay, it kind of looks like the priest class... I, I guess it kind of relies on mutations, then. I guess you wouldn't really get a whole lot out of it if you're... Like, if your main, like, like, if you're not gonna be a mutant, then I guess you don't get much out of Priest, I would guess. <clears throat> but maybe I'm wrong, I don't know, it's just, so th the thing is, I don't, I don't really see how there's much that would help out a melee unit, that's, uh, that's what I was looking for. Yeah, like, Chesty here, I was, I was hoping to get something that would synergize with Berserker. Hmm. Yeah, I don't I don't really want to make Chesty a mutant, so I'm not sure Chesty would get anything out of being a, a priest as their secondary class. The problem is, is like I don't I don't really see how any of the secondary classes really help out all that much with a with a berserker. And I kind of, I kind of wish I could like at least see what abilities you get without mutations, right? I, I'd like to see what you could, uh, what you could get, just like as a normal character, right? 
So I think I might have to do the old save, and I, I did save, so I might have to, do, to re, uh, reload, because I, I am curious to know what you get out of Priest that doesn't involve the actual, like, mutation equipment. So what, yeah, what do you actually get? Mind control. Gain control of an enemy with a willpower cost equal to uh, enemy's current willpower. Huh. Wait, so gain control of an enemy with willpower cost equal to enemy's current willpower. Okay. Hmm. Costs one to ten willpower points per turn to maintain. Man. Okay, so it seems like you don't need the specialist head then. Right, like you don't you don't need the special heads. I, I guess the I guess the special heads just sort of like, I guess that gives access to the ability, but in a, a different form. Or well, no, it was immunity to mind control, right? So yeah, I, I, okay, okay, it's it's not dependent on that. I guess I, I guess being able to mind control. I mean, I guess that kind of. I guess it kind of works out can induce panic, mind sense. All organic enemies within 15 tiles are automatically revealed. <clears throat> That's a handy utility. Allies within 10 tiles are immune to panic and psychic scream damage. So, okay, there's some good support stuff in here. Mind crush. Deal 100 damage to all enemies, enemy entities within 10 tiles. That's pretty nice. Okay. So there, uh, there is some good shit in here. But uh, I, I don't know that this is exactly what I'd want. Like, uh, if we took heavy, right? If we took heavy, then uh, you wouldn't really get a whole lot out of it as a, as a berserker. But you'd at least get some resistance to shred damage. Like, like the one thing heavy's you know it, it gives you a nice little bonus to resisting damage, which is nice. But um, yeah, I guess having, I, I guess that having this would help out, although I, I kind of feel like, you know what this would be really good for? This might be really good for a technician, right? Like, think about it, a technician, they already, you know, technician already has a lot of support, right? So giving technician even more support that might kind of like it would basically make them the support unit whereas yeah i don't like with chesty here uh, mm, uh, mind control would kind of just be a gimmick <laughs> like it, it would it would kind of just be a gimmick and then <clears throat> like this stuff right like detecting enemies that's useful and warding against panic and psychic scream that's useful but it all kind of falls more under support and uh i guess mind crush isn't support that's offense but yeah i kind of i kind of think just going more for like defensiveness might be the way to go on this so yeah okay i i, I had to the thing is i i had to actually take the class to know like to know what it does even so now that i know i'll uh i'll i'll go back and go back and try again like i'm trying to think i, I guess xcom kind of works the same way although xcom doesn't have like two classes you don't take two classes in xcom but uh, it does kind of have the same idea where you don't, like, you don't really know what something does until you actually take it. So, it, it's fine. But, okay. So knowing that, right? Knowing that, yeah, I, I think if I take a, yeah, take a second class with Chesty here, it would prob probably just be heavy, I guess. And what I would want is the uh, the damage resistance primarily. <clears throat> so yeah, yeah, you take heavy, 
you get return fire, which uh, it, it doesn't do a whole lot when you're using a stun weapon, but when you're not using a stun weapon, uh, I, I assume return fire would not work with a melee, but I assume it would work with a pistol. And uh, yeah, they actually, they deal good damage with pistols. Hunker down is nice when you're out, you know, you're caught out in the open and you need more defense, you need to not die right now. Uh, oh yeah, skirmisher, right, yeah. Um, you take damage, you deal more damage. And shred resistance. So I think all of those things would help out a melee a lot more than than Priest would. Priest is more of a... That, that's more to make a gimmick class, or to, to make a more support-oriented character. <clears throat> okay. But, uh... Alright, that's, that's all good. We... We do have enough tech, I think, to make a suit of, uh, of technician armor for the... Like, we have one technician that doesn't have any armor. We can't make the body. Can't make the body piece. Yeah, we, we, we don't have the body piece for him, but we could... Yeah, we could at least make some, like, some pants and a helmet, I guess. <clears throat> I kind of want to just sit and wait though till I have uh, more more tech resources to go around. Hmm. Wait, we're still making a farm module. What? Didn't I? Wait, did I queue it up to make more than one? Did I queue, did I queue up to make more than one farm module? Hmm, that's not great. Uh, I, I mean, I, I guess, you know, you're probably gonna wanna have a fourth plane at some point, but, uh, yeah, maybe, um, can we cancel that? <clears throat> okay, canceling it doesn't get, or no, no, I think canceling it did get everything. Okay, good. <clears throat> That's good, all right. Well, I mean, in that case, then we do actually have enough, uh, we got enough tech to make, to make the support armor, so. Just barely, like, we're, yeah, we're, we're almost out again, but, uh, we can at least make that armor and it's good to go. We're good for food, we're good for materials, uh, everything's looking great. We also have food production now correct? So let me just see how that works. <clears throat> so we don't, like, we don't actually build a new facility, I think. We just, uh, yeah, it's just, it's the containment, right? Okay, so in containment, uh, yeah, we could just kill them, but we can harvest them now, too. So yeah, we can harvest for 42... 42 food. Hmm. As far as I can tell, there doesn't really seem to be any better use for all these guys, right? Like, yeah, so as far as I can tell, uh, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't really seem to be a better use, so, um, get food. Yeah, kill, kill it for 42 food. There you go. Hmm. So I, I guess we can just keep doing that, I guess, but, um, like there was a, you know, fungal food production, so, but like, how do we, pro like, how do we produce food? That's the question. How, how to produce food? <laughs> <clears throat> hmm. Like, is there, is there something we're missing still when it comes to food production? Well, I guess fungal food... I mean, maybe that's the thing, right? Maybe this will be the thing that lets me just crank out food, I guess. Like, melting down Pandorans into, you know, a little bit of extra food is nice. But there, like, yeah, there, there's gotta be, like, an actual facility or something, right? <laughs> Hmm. 
Okay, well... Still got two days on the hatching. Like, there's, there's two days on the hatching, and, uh... Nothing really seems to be going down on the Geoscape right now. Like, the, the Geoscape is shockingly calm right now. Like, way too calm. I, I, it's got me, it's got me a little nervous just how calm the Geoscape is. <clears throat> but I guess, yeah, we continue to explore a little bit. Manufacture the parts so that our, uh, our one support guy actually has armor that he can wear. And then over here, uh... Yeah, it'll take a day or so, but once the satellite uplink is is ready, then we can start we can start detecting sites over here and maybe link up these two bases and, you know, actually fly that guy out, right? <clears throat> get a get a third manticore up and running and and uh securing the other side of the planet. Hmm, more things keep pinging. It's it's got to be the uh yeah, it has to be the radius increasing on our satellite coverage. It's got to be what's causing the pings. Yeah, there you go. There you go. I'm, I'm really hoping that between these two bases that some more areas appear so that we can connect them. Because right now we can't connect the two bases. Uh, yeah, like right now uh, the end of the line is right here and this guy is just completely isolated. It's gonna suck if that base comes under attack. That's why I want to get the satellite going and get it connected before the mist spreads out that far. Okay, good. We found a scavenging site. Um, this is kind of what we needed. So just, yeah, grab as many crates as you can get. Uh, the enemy is the Forsaken, which is... that's mutants, right? I think that's just mutants. It's daytime, but it's high threat level. Oh boy. <clears throat> high threat. Alright, but this is uh, this is our chance to scavenge for some tech, I guess. And, and well, more materials too. I mean, you know, take, what, take whatever you can get. But now is our opportunity. But I think, yeah, we'll do this one, and then probably probably there's going to be injuries, so we'll let them rest back at base, and then we'll send the other team out to deal with the hatching. I've been putting it off, but for a good reason. Okay. So I do hope there is, uh, I do hope there is some tech to be had. That looks like a blue crate, right? It looks blue, so I assume it has tech. I assume they're nice and friendly, color-coded. <clears throat> Alright, we need to get in there. Um, okay, the building... It, it's not a completely destroyed building, so... Can't just jet jump straight in there. Yeah. I need I need someone who has good maneuverability and wouldn't be missed. <laughs> like Sophia, honestly, Sophia probably has the best maneuverability out of out of everyone here. So let's go. Let's get her in there. Reporting enemy contact. All right, it's a priest. <clears throat> so yeah, we know they uh, they they have mind control and shit, right? Jagged Mindfraggers. You're facing a pack of Forsaken called the Jagged Mindfraggers. Their leader is Zealot, using the tactic Retribution Enemy. That uh, enemy that attacks high-ranking character becomes... Oh, wait, any... Wait, enemy that attacks any high-ranking character becomes marked for death. Okay. Words. Words. But he's kind of out in the open, so I think we'll be okay. I think. Oh, it's materials. It's materials! I don't need that. Materials is not what I need. Okay. 
Uh, can we get a shot on this guy? That's the question, is do we have a shot, potentially? Oh, I didn't see that there's just, uh, yeah, there's, there's just crates, like, right here, uh, kind of behind us. Hmm. Like, I could just jet jump right here, and boom, you're right next to him, but, well, yeah, you're right next to him. What now, right? <clears throat> Executing. I'm going. You can at least hide behind the crate. Oh god, it's more materials. This is not what I need. This is not what I need at all. And there's another guy just right over there. Eh. I don't know how we didn't see him initially, though. Okay, there's no... This is gonna make all the difference. Watch this. Hmm. Well, if I can, I'd like to hit this one. I don't. I don't think you can blow these up, right? I don't think. Oh, at least did some damage to him. I'm on the move. You know that counts for some. Uh, the chance of uh, chance of a shot's not all that great on him, but I feel like if we. Wait a second. Yeah, we might get a slightly better shot. <clears throat> there we go. Matter. It's just a just a matter of waiting for that that moment, right? Okay, and then mm, Vexus here doesn't really have a. I think he'll have a good shot on anyone. Up a shot. Eh, you could do worse, but could do a whole lot better too. <laughs> yeah, that's a big circle. Yeah, not even not even a single shot landed. Well, hopefully we don't get mind controlled, right? Hopefully not. Ooh. Good thing shotguns aren't terribly accurate at that distance. You going for mind control? Or instill frenzy. Hmm. Okay. So, all right, Jacob is, uh, Jacob is currently frenzied. Hmm. <clears throat> That's a good shot. Lining up a shot. Okay, one down. So yeah, Jacob might be frenzied, but, uh, the, 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 the priest is just kind of out in the open. I think if we kill the priest, we should be all right. I hope. Hmm. Well, at the least, we can grab the materials and stuff. So it's a mech arm energy pack. Take it. I mean, you know, take, take everything you can. Oh. Oh, this is a great shot. So yeah, uh, accuracy ain't gonna be too much of an issue here. So just just go nuts on them. Probably the legs would like legs are always kind of the smarter bet, but uh, head should head should make a good shot too. Hmm.
before I, uh... I can make a difference. Okay, Vexus still can do stuff. Aiming. But no, don't shoot Jacob in that, like, no, no. Shoot that guy, if you, yeah. Ready to engage. I should have manually, should have manually aimed that last shot. I should have. <laughs> no? Okay. So just, I'm trying to get like as much center mass as I can, to the best chance, right? <laughs> okay. And yeah, now uh, Jacob is no longer mind controlled. Okay. So with that done, now we're free to just loot up all the materials. Again, materials not really what I'm, not really what I'm hurting for. But you know, I guess you, you just you just take it, take what you can get. Ooh, there's one coming up right here. Oh, he's right around the corner. We can hear him. So yeah, like, I don't need materials. I need, I need tech. But the thing is, is that, um... I mean, yeah, you, in this game, you kind of do just take what you can get. Because, like, okay... It's not what I need, but maybe I can trade for it, right? Like, maybe I can I can take all the materials and do a good trade for tech, right? Like, food isn't the only thing you can trade. I just like trading food because it's relatively easy to get. Like, I'm not in, uh, I'm not in a constant scarcity of food, although I guess if, you, if you're trading it away all the time, you, you could be, but... <clears throat> it, it's generally a more secure resource. Generally. On it. Here we go. There's the tech resources that we crave. Hmm. Okay, so, uh... I mean, out of all these things, I would say that the... Hmm. <clears throat> and we got two technicians now, so you kind of do want to... Uh... Yeah, I guess you do kind of want, like, to have that mech energy pack, but... Yeah, th th that can go. Okay. So we got two tech. That's uh, it should amount to two hundred tech. And yeah, there's a guy there, and there's probably one like right there, just waiting, just waiting. They're not getting past me. Okay. So there's, like, how many more things are there? There's, like, two two more, I think, right? Or, well, there's nine. There's nine in total, but... Moving to position. Okay. Oh, yeah, you only need one point to do Overwatch. Only one point needed. So, um... Yeah, get Jacob a little closer. And hopefully we're laying down enough Overwatch that, uh, like, hopefully we can we can kill anything that that poses a problem. <clears throat> and did we already use uh, still use that. Hmm. Okay, part of me wants to, like, jet jump out and, and uh, really get ahead of everything, but that's usually not a good idea. 
usually not a great idea. Hmm. I feel like if we go here, we should be all right. That'll put me closer, but uh, it can still maneuver, yeah. So you can still, yeah, kind of get in your little hidey hole there. All right, let's have Sophia poke her head out. So that one's got just a regular rifle. All right. That one's melee. Targeting. Yeah, we got a melee over here. Hmm. I kind of think that no matter what, uh, this ain't gonna go down great. Like, no matter what, this is gonna hurt, right? <laughs> that's my, uh, that's my feeling on this. So, um... Yeah, maybe, maybe go back here, and then, yeah, we, we both just kind of overwatch in this direction. Alright. So, I, I don't know that it'll stop them, but we have a lot of overwatch going on. Yeah, melee, but they do have a pistol too. Hmm. And so far, I haven't had a weapon destroyed, but yeah, it's probably gonna happen eventually. Yeah. Yeah. Not great. Not great. He managed to do that in just a way to not not trigger both Overwatches. Yeah, they're. Uh, They're playing it very careful. I thought I had everything worked out, but clearly I didn't. I just need to catch my breath. <clears throat> okay. I think grenades probably the best thing Sophia can do here. Okay. Yeah. Get rid of a little armor, and uh, they're they'll be easier to take down in the next turn. Nah, that ain't gonna hit. Oh, what I, I got like... What is this? I got like locked in there. Huh. Okay. So yeah, I... Can't really do anything too productive with that one. Hmm. Oh, there's another thing over here. Uh, well then. Good idea. I'm hoping that uh, I'm hoping that the shots will mostly go around the railing, or it'll blow the railing out. You know. Or you just miss. Just miss real bad. You know, or that happens. Loud and clear. <clears throat> Ready. But Sophia's just kind of standing there right now. Oh man. We're dealing in dealing in the mutants now. Okay, so we already know that shooting them in the leg slash crotch, that does seem to does seem to be the weak point on most enemies. You know, I guess as it should be, right? And then as his head's down, oh, oh it disabled his arm. Okay. <clears throat> okay, Jacob should be able to get out here and do a little something. But yeah, the le the leg does really seem to be kind of the you know the the biggest weak point of all. Mm. 
Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Moving now. So yeah, that didn't work out. That didn't work out at all. Maybe some grenade can save it. Like, I'm, I'm hoping that'll at least disable some of their body parts. Okay, yeah, destroying their equipment, uh, disabling legs, good. Good, that's, uh, that's a start. That's a start. <clears throat> okay. Uh-oh, uh-oh. He's getting right up in there on Sophia. Ooh. Uh, this isn't this isn't going great for for Sophia. Don't die. She is almost bled out and she's completely disabled so she can't do anything anymore. Hope I can find cover. So yeah, med kits are a good idea. Unfortunately, using medkits so much, uh, they do cost a lot of tech resources, so... This. Yeah, we are kind of like, just, just burning through our tech here. Alright, throw some, some quick aim on it. Not great shots all around. Wow, this guy's this guy's real tough. Like he is uh he's quite sturdy. So I guess there is some merit in all them mutations. It does make him quite tough. Okay, yeah, so Sophia, like, she, she just literally can't do anything. I, I think it might be best to evacuate Sophia. Sprinting. Like, yeah, it might just be best to get her out of there. Receiving loud and clear. Targeting. Hmm. I don't think he can really, yeah, he, he doesn't really have a shot in the building there. Oh my god. I, just, I think maybe I should just give up and go center mass with every shot. <laughs> How are we... Like, what, what is happening right now? <laughs> yeah, no one can hit anything. I don't know if that's like a special ability going on or uh huh Running. <clears throat> Okay, well, what's in here? Oh, it's a lot of goodies. But uh yeah. Can't carry it all. That's the problem. Hmm. We might want to get another guy over there. And I think probably we'll, we'll take that one, and I think that'll be good enough for me. Our move. Like, we'll take that and then get out of here. But this melee, like, I, I'm having a hard time taking him down. <clears throat> uh -oh. oh, they're both melee. Well, shit. Oh no, he might be dead. No! Oh no. Die Hard didn't save him. Die Hard did not save him. <clears throat> so, uh, Stormtrooper met an untimely end. Unfortunate.
Yeah, I think we should get out of here uh, before things get even worse. Yeah, honestly, like, let's, uh, there, there's some good materials over here, though, so I do want to grab them, but, uh, but then I think we get out. Or start playing super defensively. Okay, we have to reload. I'll keep my eyes open. Yeah, so Bubsy, like, he can't get any more stuff. He's he's full up. So I need someone else to, to get in there. <clears throat> Executing. Guess it's my turn. Okay, and then Jacob's just out in the open. I'll stay behind. Hmm. And I guess the good thing is, is that Stormtrooper was a pretty shitty unit. I mean, he didn't have he he didn't have good armor or weapons or anything. He was uh, he was very poorly equipped. So it wasn't like at the least it wasn't a huge loss, I guess. I want them techs, tech, materials, foods, uh, well, hey, I guess we just lost a gun, right? So we'll need that. An extra med kit, that, uh, that's one we don't have to manufacture, I suppose. And we can take one more thing on the equipment slot, so, hmm. Uh, I'll go with, uh, hmm. yeah, laser pistol ammo. What are they doing? What are they doing? I hope I get them. They have to come out eventually. Wow. They're actually playing in insanely smart. Like they will not they refuse to come out of there. They absolutely refuse. <clears throat> and they're gonna yeah, they're gonna mm, mm. The one way that we weren't uh, looking. That should have gone better. Oh. Yeah, I didn't think the scavenging mission could or would go so badly. Hmm. Might get rid of the cover? No. Eh, unfortunate. Okay, jet jump back here. We gotta gotta recall our guys and uh, I, I think at this point, yeah, we just focus on getting out. Uh, these enemies are a little tough. Moving. Oh, I didn't mean to move like that, but it's fine, I guess. Yeah, I think we should kind of focus on getting out, though, so... I need an angle. Can I get that one? Okay, nice. Nice. The accuracy actually, actually worked and came through for once. Okay. Uh, 
more of them are coming. More coming. Hmm. Uh, I did kind of leave him open. Uh, maybe this would block him a little bit, but... Eh. Hmm. We really need to get out of this mission. I don't like... Like, this mission's going horribly. It did, it did say it was a high-risk mission, right? It did say that. I guess, you know, the warning signs were there. On it. <clears throat> but we get out of this one Let's just go. like, yeah, yeah, everybody needs to rest up now. Ready. Hey, you can Ready. still shoot and all that. Looks dangerous. Still good. On the move. All right. Would would my shot actually even do anything? Maybe. Hmm. Enemy hit. Well, he disabled their head. Heading out. Okay. Can't can't really do anything else, huh? Oh, the mind control. Hmm. That that guy, he seems to be a little broken. He's just kind of running back and forth in there because he's a melee, right? Uh, uh. And they're just going to poke out and shoot at our heavy. <clears throat> yeah. Which, good thing the heavy has some shred resist. They really need to get out of here now. Like, just, just go for best possible shot. Okay, so Vexus, I think, is under mind control. Or no, Jacob is. Hmm, Vexus, I think, is still panicked. He's still still kind of losing his shit over there. He's within the ammo. Uh, uh. <clears throat> hmm. So the moment I move, then I can't shoot. Uh All right. I mean, well, I guess I could bash, right? But I can do this. I don't know if this would actually help or not. Like, would that knock him out of it? No. All right. Oh, now they're mind controlled too. Hmm. Psychic damage. Uh, okay. At this point, I kind of think it might be a wash and we just need to like, just do this one over again. <laughs> Uh, like at this point, it's turning into a shit show. Yeah. On it. Enemy kill. Hmm. On my way. All right. Well, at least. At least we're not mind-controlled. <clears throat> at least we're not mind-controlled at the moment, I guess. Hmm. Yeah. 
This better work. <laughs> that actually works. And even our guys are surprised they're not dead right now. <clears throat> okay. They keep coming though. They keep coming. Yeah, we need we need to get out like now. Quickly. <clears throat> oh, he's just he's just gushing blood. Yeah, evacuate. Evacuate. Jet jet jump and evacuate. <clears throat> So we only lost one guy, Stormtrooper. Oh, that was that was a mess. Absolute mess. Oh, well, Bubsy leveled up. But yeah. Oh, so we got eight out of nine of the resource packs though. <laughs> uh hope it was worth it. The only good thing is, yeah, Stormtrooper wasn't a very, like, he was, he was very poorly equipped. So, um, we didn't lose much gear from him dying. And he was, I think he'd only, like, he was only level two, so we didn't lose a lot. Like, we didn't lose a good unit either. <clears throat> but, yeah, we did, I, I guess, yeah, we did recover, like, uh, this is a replacement rifle. So, got that. Yeah, we got some weapons and stuff we'll use, and 300 tech, 400 materials, and then some food, too. So, it did, it, it, it did kinda even out, actually. Kinda evens out. But we are down one guy. Alright, so, Bubsy leveled up. Uh, what's he got? Hmm, take down. Or hunker down. I think hunker down, honestly, it's gonna come in more use uh, as we go on, I think. <clears throat> also, definitely need more speed on this guy. Definitely. Like, man, they need speed. And uh, they could use some more strength, too. But yeah, speed and strength. Hmm. God, Sophia got shot up so hard in that mission. <laughs> Just absolutely destroyed. Hmm. Eh, I think I want that aim burst now. I think I, uh, I could go for some of that. She's only got seven willpower, but resting up should help with that. Otherwise, uh, I'm seeing health as being more and more of a necessity. <laughs> Okay. I think we have at least... Uh, we might have a replacement back in the main base. Maybe? I hope. So yeah, they gotta they gotta go rest now. They have to. Uh, I'll take that mission though because we did... Uh, we did need the tech and we got it. So... That's good. <laughs> That's good. Let's just get both teams back and rest up. Okay. <clears throat> so do we have some replacement personnel? Do we have any replacements? Uh, we do. We have Kramer. Uh, and is... Okay, Kramer is a little... Okay, we have replacements. This is good. We got lots of replacements. And some of them that are even fully equipped and ready to go. All right, 
So put Burn in on the Sphinx team. <clears throat> and then, uh, let's see, we got Izul and Kramer here. And Kramer... Yep. We can start equipping him with, uh, with, with proper stuff. Need to get a grenade on him. Yeah, okay, yeah. Nothing he can use right now. But, uh, yeah, we'll slowly get some armor and all that in there. Kramer has leveled up a bit, so, uh... What do we got? Fast use, electric reinforcement. <clears throat> huh, so three willpower and one action, but it gives, uh, ten bonus armor for a turn. Remote deployment. Turrets can be thrown for one action point and two will points. Hmm. I guess the question is, does he have, like, do, do they just have turrets? Hmm. But I think, yeah, we want the electric reinforcement. And especially if they're a support, like, yeah, being able to use uh, med kits and stuff uh, with just one point instead of two, pretty nice. <clears throat> and then Die Hard gives you a chance to not die. So I, I think the uh, the perks are a little more important than the, than the uh, stats on that one, just to start. I do think we need more guys, though. Uh, particularly, I think we need, like, a fully equipped guy on that third manticore. So I'm thinking to buy another dude on the marketplace, but, uh... Other than that, I mean, yeah, we do... Yeah, I guess we do have replacement here. He's good to go. Hmm. Not enough skill points for a new class. Huh. Rocketeer. Jetpack proficiency. I guess if we wanted to give him heavy armor, then that would be nice, but, uh... Hmm. Alright. Uh, I think nothing really... Uh, no, re ready for action. I do see the value in ready for action now. I, I do see it. That and some more willpower. I mean, more willpower would just help us to not get mind controlled, since that's a thing now. <clears throat> okay. I guess I, uh, I mean, it is about time we have to, we have to do the hatching. Uh. Oh boy. Yeah, this isn't gonna be great. Ain't gonna be fun. But, gotta do it, so. Manticore Prime out. Okay, so uh, let's see. We've assembled prototypes of aerial weapons and equipment that can be fitted on the Manticore. She recovered near the Hammerfall Crater. The prototypes are based on old Phoenix project designs from a bygone time. Scrolled away in the databanks of Sartorius, an avionics-obsessed AI. As a result of Sartorius's casual proselytizing of the rights of artificial persons, MAI Core 12B735 has renamed herself Aurora. Eileen brings up a hollow display of Shelly. This is where they're storing the eggs I brought. Meet me there in 15. I'll figure out how to get Pete away from the area. He's not much of a guard, and a terrible poet. Remember, no one dies. The eggs get destroyed. In the meantime, my friends will finish refitting the Aurora. So wait, no one dies? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, let's get samples of the eggs. 
Oh, but hey, actually, good timing. Um, because this is gonna be a whole thing. Um, the wife just came home, and it's it's getting about lunchtime. I was kind of getting a little hungry myself. So, uh, good time to get on out of here, actually. We'll, we'll do the mission the next time around. So, we'll save the big hatching, actually, for next time. So, till then, I'm gonna make some pizza or something. See y'all next time. <laughs> Later.